Okay, I want to show you how to uh, set up a donation page for someone. Um, if we go to that page, um, well, most of the page is dedicated to information about the donation. Um, this can be edited the way you normally edit a, uh, any old article. Um, just from the front end, you can log in and uh, you'll get your little edit button. Uh, or you can come to the back end and uh, uh, go to the article manager and grab the uh, donation article and edit that. However, um, the donation button here uh, will require a little configuration for uh, each time that you want to donate to a different person. Um, so let me pull up that uh, module. Um, you'll come in uh, to the back end administrator, administration uh, tool and if you come down to, I believe it's Donations PayPal, click on this. This will open up the little module that you're seeing on the right hand, right hand side here. There are a number of um, things that you can uh, set, a number of different uh, options. Um, you can change the uh, little title that uh, um, shows up. It is right here, Donations PayPal. Um, is uh, uh, what we're seeing here, you can show it, you can hide it. Um, <clears throat> if you want to add a little uh, description text, uh, this will show up around the module. It's probably not necessary because you're going to see that most of the time you'll be able to say anything you need to right in the article, um, which is really where people are going to be looking at it. But, you know, if you want to add something, you can plop your text in there. Uh, the really important thing um, about the module is, of course, um, its ability to uh, redirect users to the PayPal uh, page. And um, the PayPal ID uh, is all you'll need. Um, when you have a new person that you want to direct donations to, uh, tell them to go to PayPal and set up an account. Um, it's an easy uh, process. The site walks you right through it. They want to make it easier for people to create accounts. As soon as the user has created an account, um, it'll be associated with whatever email address that um, they give PayPal. All you gotta do is uh, plug in the that email address right here and, um, and hit save. What uh, what the module does is it just associates this button um, with that email address. You click on it, it'll take you to the PayPal page and um, uh, and give PayPal that email address. Uh, if I click on it now, I haven't given it a real email address, so it'll probably take us to PayPal and say you did not. Yep, did, you did not have the correct email address. Um, but. Uh, but if you plug the right one in there, it'll work smoothly. Um, other than that, you can uh, uh, you can set a uh, donation. Um, and actually, um, go ahead and do this. Can set a amount that uh, people want to donate. Um, I think it defaults to ten. They can provide uh, if you give them this little field. Uh, then they can change that number. And let me uh, elaborate on that field a little bit because uh, this is not properly named. Uh, it says show on front page. Uh, if you hover over it, it actually says allow for donors to choose amount. Um, it's just just a typo on somebody's part. They forgot to uh, change this text, show on front page, to allow user to select donation or something like that. So you can set the default here. If you click yes, then the user can uh, specify how much they want to donate. Probably a good idea. Uh, by default, uh, it'll go to US dollars. I think that's what we want to do. And the last thing I want to mention about uh, this uh, don uh, PayPal donations module is uh, the URLs. Um, you can set up a, uh, a page to have it uh, redirect to after um, the uh, after they're done at PayPal. Once they hit submit on the PayPal site, uh, 
PayPal remembers whatever URL you put in there and uh, will send them back. So if, for instance, you want to come back to the uh, uh, home page, you can just put in this URL. If you create a maybe a thank you page under donations or if uh, perhaps you have a uh, relevant uh, article elsewhere in the site that you think that it would be appropriate for them to uh, return to, you can just grab uh, that URL, uh, plop it in here, and uh, they'll come back to that. Cancel URL. Um, you're probably, probably not going to uh, use this or need this, uh, really. Uh, on the off chance that something went wrong on during the PayPal transaction, uh, if they enter their credit card uh, number wrong or something like that, um, this module gives you the option of having a uh, URL that uh, PayPal returns an unsuccessful donation to. Uh, that's all that field is. Um, if you'd like to use it, uh, certainly can. Um, same sort of deal, you just plug in whatever URL you want uh, users to uh, go to after an unsuccessful uh, transaction. Um, yeah, these are your text fields, and um, you can assign it to uh, any page that you like. Um, currently, uh, it's only assigned uh, to the donation page, so you're only going to see um, the uh, PayPal button, uh, the donate button, on the right-hand side of the donations page. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to that uh, module. The Really the only involvement uh, you're going to have with um, uh, setting up donations to individuals is in asking them to create a PayPal account and send you the email. Then you drop the email right in here. That should do it.